So what I have here is a one pound ball of 80-20 ground beef, which is standard for burgers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half, and then I'm going to take one half of the beef and cook it in a traditional pan frying method. And then I'm going to take the other half and I'm going to do my steaming method, and then we will see which one is healthier. All right, so here we are. All right, so our next step is to cook these bad boys. So we're going to start with this one, which I'm going to do a traditional pan fry on. Okay, so now we are about to cook our burgers. Now, for the sake of showing you exactly what is in this burger, I am not going to season it, and I'm also not going to put any oil in the pan. So we can have an unadulterated example of what exactly is in this burger. This hasn't even been cooking for a minute, and you can see that there's already fat that's dripping out of that burger. If there's this much grease coming out on one side of the burger, I think you can imagine how much will come out of the other side. Now the reason why people like to pan sear their burgers is because it creates a nice crust on the outside of the burger. And everyone loves that nice crust. Alright, so we're ready to flip this burger again. Let's check it for doneness. Still needs a few more minutes. You can see the amount of grease that's just on my finger from touching it. That was perfect. So now I'm just going to transfer it onto the plate. So here's the fried hamburger just resting. And on the plus side, it's got a great crust to it. It smells great. But you can see all the grease around there. and. Even on the bottom, that's all grease, and if I press on it, you can just see all the grease coming out of it. Now, some people may call this a juicy burger, but let's face it, it's a greasy burger. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's the difference between pan frying and steaming? Well, instead of cooking this burger in a hot pan, we are instead going to cook it using hot steam. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to accomplish that. So here's the setup I typically use when I steam burgers. It's just a lid, a steamer basket, and a pan with a small amount of water in it. Easy as one, two, three. So why is this healthier than pan frying a burger? Well, there is only a small amount of water in this pan, so when it boils, it doesn't actually touch the meat. The steam will cook the burger, and as it's cooking, all the grease will drip out through these holes and into the water. So at the end, you're left with a well-cooked juicy burger, but without all the grease. So let's turn up the heat and get that water boiling. This is an optional step, but it's something I sometimes like to use, is that you can spray a little nonstick on the steamer rake so that the burger won't stick when it's cooking. Now it may seem strange that I am spraying grease on the steamer rig when I'm trying to cook a healthy burger, but that grease, just like the grease from the burger, will all drip down into the water. Okay, my water is boiling, so now I'm going to place the patty onto the steamer rig. Again, this burger has not been seasoned in any way. And I'm just going to cover it up, lower the heat. Okay, it's been five minutes, so let's take a look at the burger. Be careful with the steam though, because it burns even more so than boiling water. As you can see, even though it's just been steamed, the burger already looks nicely brown. So I'm going to flip it, not so much for evenness sake, but just so that the grease from the other side can also drip out. So we'll give this about eight more minutes and then we'll check it for doneness. Okay, it's been eight minutes, so let's check on the burger. Ah, it looks perfect. So now I'm just going to transfer this onto the plate. So here is our steam burger. As you can see, it looks very different. That's because steaming it doesn't produce that golden brown crust that a lot of people desire. 
If you do desire it, then what I recommend you do is that you cook your burger to around 130 degrees and then sear it very quickly in a hot pan to achieve that golden brown crust. However, there is not a lot of grease coming out of this burger. And over here in the bottom, that's mostly just water and just a tiny bit of grease. And pressing on it, that's just mostly water too. So now we're ready to compare the two burgers side by side. So you may be wondering, where did all the grease go in this burger? Well, with the pan fried burger, all that grease just stayed in that pan and just got absorbed into the burger. Let's find out where the grease went with the steam burger. So now I'm going to take the steamer rig off and show you exactly what is in this water. There is a lot of grease in this water along with a bunch of other fun stuff. Well, let's put this in a measuring cup so that you can get a better view on exactly what's in here. This is the water that's left over from the bottom of the pan, and you can see at the top layer how much fat is already collected. What I'm going to do now is refrigerate this so that the fat coagulates, and you can see exactly how much fat that could have been in your pan and on your burger. Here's the liquid from the steamed burgers after sitting in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Now all this fat is just from one burger and it's fat that is no longer in the burger and no longer in the pan and most importantly not in your diet. So you may be asking yourself why would I steam food rather than fry it? Well, for one thing, steaming preserves nutrients that are often lost through other cooking methods. Plus, the fat drains off and doesn't end up in your food. Plus, it's fast, and it keeps the food a nice, light texture. Other good candidates for steaming include almost any vegetable, almost any kind of fish, and one of my personal favorites, sweet potatoes. I just steam them until they're fork tender, and then I just mash them with butter, brown sugar, and spices. So here is the finished burger, ready to eat. Now it's finished with some of my favorite toppings, which include onions, mustard, ketchup, and of course cheese. Which, by the way, is very easy to melt if you put it on the burger while it's still steaming during the last minute of cooking. As you saw, when you fry a burger, you achieve a nice brown crust on the burger, but you also lock in a lot of the fat in the burger. When you steam a burger, you may not initially get that great crust, but you lose a lot of the fat and heaviness that is often associated with a pan-fried burger. A steamed burger is juicy, flavorful, but most of all, it's healthier for you.